Klopp urges FSG to sign special player for Liverpool, fighting to make transfer happen. The Reds' biggest problem this season is by no means a secret. The drive, determination, energy and lack of legs in the midfield hinder Jurgen Klopp's side wherever they turn. Liverpool have gone from being the hardest team to play and among the easiest. Indeed, this statement is reflected in the fact that Liverpool are conspicuously high in the big luck category this season. The inability or reluctance of the current midfield crop to pressurise is assures two things. First, they can no longer recover the ball quickly, preventing them from giving their forwards quick chances on the pass. Second, it allows opposing quarterbacks to provide time and space on the ball to take advantage of their high defensive line. Liverpool are fully aware of their shortcomings, but newcomers are not expected until summer. Jurgen Klopp is said to be fighting with Liverpool owners FSG to free up money to sign Jude Bellingham. The race is currently well underway for the coveted 19-year-old, and a summer move is sure to come. According to journalist Christian Falk, Klopp is forcing the Reds' owners to do everything possible to bring him to Anfield. Jurgen Klopp is fighting to get the owners of the club to give him money for Bellingham, Falk said. He wants to see him on his team. But they have to be careful because Real Madrid are also a very nice club and they came to the table early. If they pay the amount and Dortmund says they pay more than Liverpool, Liverpool will have a problem. The money involved in a deal to sign Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund has always been talked about as enormous. According to Michael Owen and others, the British man is a special factor. It looks like the Bundesliga giants will approve Bellingham's departure for just over £100 million and the package should include some hefty additions. Reaching that figure would have forced Liverpool to break the transfer record, though the Merseyside team focused on winning the race for the England national team players' autograph. Sky Sports reporter Domesh Sheth recently told Give Me Sport that Bellingham may be pushing for a transfer to Anfield. Dortmund sporting director Sebastian Kell revealed in an interview with German media outlet Kicker that there were no offers for Bellingham during the January transfer window. The 19-year-old's current employers are also in a strong negotiating position as his £40,000 a week contract is not expected to expire until the summer of 2025, which will make it even more difficult for Liverpool to reach a quick deal. In any case, it is alleged that Liverpool are ready to push the boat into Bellingham by promising Bellingham a chance to become the new Steven Gerrard. It's not clear what exactly it means to make Bellingham the new Gerrard, but more broadly it could mean he's quickly established as the main man in the midfield. Moreover, it could mean giving Bellingham the captain's armband despite his delicate age. Jordan Henderson is the current captain and James Milner is the co-captain. Milner is rarely featured these days and his contract is up at the end of the season. Meanwhile, Henderson is no longer the regular starter he once was and may be the one to leave Bellingham signs. Gerrard was just 23 years old at the time when he replaced Sami Hippier as Reds captain in 2003. Among Bellingham's long list of features is his glowing leadership when interviewed, as well as in talks with the UK in Qatar. Bills Masseri acknowledged that Liverpool would be left empty-handed if Bellingham moved for the money. However, Ben Jacobs has always stressed that money will not be Bellingham's primary motivator, and Liverpool seem willing to do whatever they can to attract Bellingham to Anfield, far from the financial side of the deal. Liverpool is watching the fantastic player Newcastle is possible to bid. Ivan Fresneda is currently sought after by every major club in Europe. The Athletic has taken a deep dive into the young right-back's plight, and it's clear to see how talented this youngster is given the scope of clubs that are looking at him. Real Madrid, Borussia Dortmund and Arsenal all showed interest, while the Athletic chose Liverpool among the clubs watching Fresneda. It's pretty surprising that the Reds are in the market for a new right-back. After all, they only signed Calvin Ramsey in the summer, while Connor Bradley is also looking bright in the youth ranks. However, you can never have enough skill in the fullback and the Reds give the young Spaniard a real look. The Merseyside club may be interested in the defender, but they are not leading this race. It looks like Newcastle, Rennes and Borussia Dortmund are the three teams most likely to bid for the fantastic young player right now, and with those three in the race, Liverpool may not have much luck. Think about it, Fresneda will barely stand a chance at Anfield ahead of Trent Alexander-Arnold, but with Dortmund and Rennes growing reputation for bringing in talented young players, it could be very appealing to move into any of these clubs.
Newcastle United are on a similar board to Liverpool as they are Kieran Trippier's first choice at right back, but at the same time the English star is not getting any younger and Fresnida could earn a starting berth at St James Park in the next three years if she plays her cards right. It is not yet clear where this player will end up, but one thing is for sure, he is currently one of the hottest young properties in Europe. From a Liverpool point of view, right-back transfer seems like a must. Calvin Ramsey, who was transferred this season, has struggled with injuries since joining the team, and despite attending team training, Trent seems far from Alexander-Arnold's level. Arnold's form has been on the decline this season and he hasn't been able to rest as there is no one to compete with him. Transferring Fresnada seems quite logical. Merson tells Klopp to stop fighting with the player of Liverpool, who is making £120,000 a week. Paul Merson wrote on Sportskeeda that Liverpool must drop Cody Gakpo this weekend against Graham Potter's Chelsea in the Premier League at Anfield. The former Arsenal star says Gakpo is fighting for Liverpool and believes Klopp should remove him from the starting squad. Liverpool will face Chelsea in the Premier League at Anfield on Saturday. And this period Liverpool will enter a very difficult fixture. Merson said, Cody Gakpo has been struggling a bit so far. I can't remember the Netherlands players coming to the Premier League in the last few years. In our opinion, Cody Gakpo hasn't been particularly good for Liverpool since signing from PSV in the January transfer window. Earning £120,000 a week, the striker has appeared once in the Premier League and twice in the FA Cup for the Reds since his transfer. It will be interesting to see what Klopp does with Gakpo, who started Saturday at Anfield in the Premier League against Chelsea. Liverpool have injury issues, so the 23-year-old can start against the Blues. The match is at Anfield, so the forward will have the support of the home fans. Yes, Gakpo wasn't particularly great, but that doesn't mean Klopp should let him go. Perhaps the Liverpool boss should persevere with Gakpo, as leaving him out of the team could damage his confidence. Also, if Gakpo gets more time on the left wing, maybe he can show more of the skills that got him transferred. Gakpo, like Darwin Nunez, is in the process of getting used to and definitely needs time. However, it is essential to take time to not lose him and to ensure that he adapts to the team more. In fact, Liverpool's general formlessness is one of the reasons why Gakpo has not been able to contribute enough. He could have brought himself to the fore even more in a functioning system, but the Reds' formlessness this season seems to drag him into the vortex.